hey good morning friends and in this video i am going to discuss about the most important topic of any competitive exam like net or gate and that is alkene metathesis uh, using graphs catalyst so metathesis reaction is basically the exchange of two groups so metathesis means the exchange of two groups and uh, you can see this is the reaction of uh, graphs catalyst this is this uh, rhodium complex uh, which contains this carbene uh, phenyl, phenyl methane carbene this is the catalyst and these two alkenes uh, uh, react to form this new alkene and this is called a metathesis reaction because uh, when i will discuss the mechanism you will see that uh, the in this complex and between these ligands the exchange of ligands occur between these two so this is called metathesis reaction now in every year almost every year or alternate year one question will be there from this topic metathesis topic so this is a very uh, important topic uh, for competitive exam and last year uh, there was no question from metathesis so uh, this uh, june uh, net exam it is very important uh, a question four marks question is sure short from this uh, topic so uh, this video will be very helpful for you now uh, this is a normal reaction now uh, the question which is uh, frequently given in the CSIR exam is this. So you have given with this compound and uh, this catalyst and then what will be the product. So in this case, uh, so all the so all the cases ethylene gas is liberated but in this case cyclization will occur and you will get this product okay now uh, they only ask you the product but you should know the reaction mechanism and now i will discuss what is the mechanism of the reaction so this is the catalyst now so we can uh, write this catalyst here here and now uh, the catalyst the graphs catalyst i can write uh, this rhodium and this carbene part and other ligands will be there but i am not writing it because uh, this has no importance to this reaction it will just uh, uh, fill up board so uh, i i am just writing the reactive part so now uh, it can undergo a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition you know 2 plus 2 cycloadditions involving alkene is normally not allowed but in this case this involves a metal so metal has d orbitals and other orbitals so it can do a 2 plus 2 cycle addition and if that reaction occurs you will get this product now you know 2 plus 2 cycle this is a cyclobutane type intermediate which involves a metal obviously but it can undergo a reverse 2 plus 2 cycle addition and if it, it uh, cleave in this uh, uh, same way as it jo uh, joins so you will get back this starting material but it can uh, break in the other way also and if that occurs you will get this so then you will get uh, here you have rhodium right so you you get this now you can see this part is similar to this part so uh, in the catalyst which you used previously has the uh, same type of carbene uh, joint uh, in the uh, rhodium and after one step of the reaction you get the same thing only in this step you uh, you uh, removed this phenyl this uh, sty uh, this uh, styrene you uh, kicked off uh, to uh, from your uh, catalyst but you get the same type of uh, same type of uh, functional group which you had in your catalyst and now you can see this can also undergo a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition with with another alkene now it can uh, do cycloaddition with this one or other molecule of this starting material because both all have uh, alkene but you know but you can see that in the molecule itself it has an alkene and you know 
uh, if there is a possibility of intramolecular reaction then it is always predominant uh, over the intermolecular reaction because intermolecular intramolecular reaction doesn't need any collision or this and that's why neighboring group neighboring group participation or the things like that occurs so it will undergo a 2 plus 2 cyclization between this alkene and this uh, catalyst part so then if this indeed occurs you will get so i can write it how i can write it i can write it this way here now you can see so actually if you want to two two words are uh, there so i can see one two and here you have the sorry for that so here you have rhodium and now you can see it can undergo a 2 plus 2 cycle addition between this and then you will get TS this and here you have uh, rhodium this okay now next step what can happen now this cyclobutane type system it can again undergo a reverse or retro 2 plus 2 cyclo addition so this is also a 2 plus 2 step and it can undergo a retro 2 plus 2 cyclo addition and then what you will get so this and this and out of that you will get this okay so you you see your catalyst part where although in the uh, starting catalyst you had this one but our required functional group was this uh, carbon part and it is regenerated in this state so you get back your catalyst and this catalytic cycle will carry on and when this act as your catalyst in the next reaction then instead of getting this styrene so if, if uh, your catalyst uh, part it was this simple uh, carbon then instead of getting uh, instead of getting this styrene you will get ethylene so you will get ethylene from next step onwards and uh, this reaction is very important but there are a few questions that uh, and you know this uh, the yield of these reactions are almost 90 percent or above so why uh, although these reactions are, uh, are a highly reversible reaction as you can see all the steps are reversible it can get back to the starting material or other way but still uh, the reaction is uh, 100 uh, almost 90 percent or uh, above yield why this is so because you can see so let me talk about one step so let uh, let's say you have this uh, this one uh, in rhodium and now for for the sake of uh, argument we consider that this um, carbon part instead of undergoing 2 plus 2 cyclization with this particular alkyne it undergoes cyclization with uh, the uh, uh, with the styrene molecule or ethylene molecule which is uh, uh, which is uh, removed from the reaction so then what happens so then you will get this now you can see this reaction this uh, this cyclobutane type ring it it is a, it is it can undergo a reversible uh, and uh, retro 2 plus 2 cyclization reaction and that will get back to it it has no option but to do that okay so this is not uh, not your product so it, it either it has to get back to this or it has no option so if in fact uh, this um, this uh, uh, carbon react with other molecule also then also you will get this same starting material back and then you will get the and you know the step where so after that when uh, the step where you 
so actually i should uh, mention one uh, step before that but i will tell you here so you know when you have this one this particular intermediate you have when and you are removing this ethylene so in this case ethylene is removed or it may be a styrene if if there is a phenyl it may be a styrene either way a alkene is removed at some stage and out of that you get rhodium and this ts now see this step is highly irreversible because when this alkene is uh, back from the uh, catalyst uh, alkene is uh, removed from the catalyst it will never come back so this highly irreversible reaction uh, drives the whole reaction towards the completion so although other steps are reversible due to this particular step the reaction uh, gives high yield now um, there are several examples of uh, um, this uh, alkene metallic reactions and also uh, there are two types of catalyst graphs first generation and second generation so the catalyst which i previously previously show, uh, drew that uh, this one this rhodium here you have cl here you have cl and here you have p cy whole thrice p cy whole thrice and this so this is called graphs first generation catalyst but if you now just change this uh, one of this uh, for pc coi whole thrice group that, that is phosphine cyclohexyl uh, tricyclohexyl group by this particular this one so the group here is this heterocycle so it is delocalized negative charge and you have this group here so this is called graphs second gen second generation catalyst and uh, the graphs first generation catalyst and second generation catalyst both do the same reaction but uh, there are some advantages over the um, uh, advantages of using second generation over first generation and that's why it is developed so this is the discussion of the graphs catalyst i can talk more about this graphs catalyst but uh, for your uh, competitive exam point of view this is just enough that what is the product and what is the mechanism so uh, i will i will do uh, another discussion on graphs catalyst later but for that moment i will finish the video here and uh, you know the uh, i am i am uh, observing that uh, the views of my videos are less but subscribers are more than that uh, it may be either that uh, you are not notified when i am uploading video because i know my video qualities are not bad so uh, when you are subscribing my channel also press the bell icon that you should get notification and uh, that's all thank you for watching and best of luck